Hello everyone, this is a module number 239 for the subject of strategic human resource management. And uh, in this module, we will talk about, uh, or we will continue to talk about HR role in managing change. And uh, that is related to the process and uh, the process of change. So if you people remember that uh, in the last module, uh, we talked about the Alphas et al. model of change or their analysis of change in two public sector organizations. In so based on uh, the two public sector organizations, um, they suggested the contents and the processes uh, or the process. So we will talk about the uh, process, what they, their findings are or what their model suggests. So they think that uh, the first thing adapted or first thing done in those organizations organizations they studied was recognition of the need for change. Now you may realize that sometimes in the past we, um, uh, we talked about the ADCAR model of change and the first stage of the ADCAR model of change was the awareness and awareness included the uh, recognition of the need for change. So similar to the ADCAR model, here the Alpha et al. model um, of change or HR model of change, it suggests that those organizations, they adapted change, what they did first or what was the point. So that was the recognition of the need for change. In the uh, second uh, step, the start of the, because it is a process, so in the second step or in the second step of this uh, change management process, so start of the change process. So once you have realized or once you see that there is uh, something um, or you have recognized something to be changed, uh, you start the process and you think that um, we should start the uh, change or we should um, uh, design the uh, change management uh, program or you should uh, uh, design the strategy how those, that change can be brought. So diagnosis is the third step. So that is the uh, diagnosis of uh, the organization context, uh, diagnosis of the organization culture, or diagnosis of the factors that can influence the uh, change because you are designing. So definitely when you are designing the change management program, it is important to understand the contextual factors. So you see that this is, a, this is the processal, uh, processual approach uh, to uh, bring or uh, to implement a change or design a change. So recognition of the need for change is the first thing, start of the change process and then diagnosis. And in the fourth step, uh, preparing and uh, planning for implementation. So you might have realized that by this, uh, by in, the third, in the third step of this process, uh, you have diagnosed, you have developed the uh, change design or you have reached at a conclusion that what need to be changed and how it will be changed and uh, who would be responsible for that change, uh, what would be the outcome of that change, how that change can be um, uh, 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 stabilized in the organization once it is achieved. So now it is preparing and planning for implementation. It is the point to take off. Um, most disturbing point because this is where employees would react or employee, employees would see that uh, their stakes or um, uh, some benefits or whatsoever they are doing as a routine is now changing. So this is the most critical um, uh, stage, stage in the change management program. So um, once you have uh, planned and prepared for the implementation, then uh, you are implementing the change management program. So in the last three, uh, last step of this process is to review what you have done and to review what you have achieved, uh, it has been achieved. Uh, now you review uh, the uh, current state or uh, uh, the current state is stable or it still need to be continued or you might think about um, to continue with some other interventions uh, to bring in the change, for example, maybe uh, some technological factors or maybe some consultants so actually you are reviewing the, um, uh, what you have done and how it has affected the organization uh, positively or negatively, uh, whether the employees have adapted those changes or they have embraced 
or uh, and uh, whatsoever change you have made now it, does it uh, uh, influence the organization in a positive or negative way in the sense of a stability that uh, okay now the organization is stable and the new things have been adapted and accepted as a norm and their beliefs and everything so uh, this review is very important because you may realize that or you may um, raise the flag to a flag of victory and you say okay we have done the change managed the change but change maybe at that time is in influx and has not um, uh, in a stable stage and it can backfire the organization in terms of uh, processes even for example if a bring if a, if a bank they want to change the software so they are running the parallel software um, uh, because uh, financial activity uh, financial activities are involved how can you stop um, uh, not giving services to customers and how can you stop uh, hundreds and thousands and millions of transactions so uh, the parallel program is um, uh, introduced uh, everything is uh, shifted later and it, it's working on a parallel two systems. And uh, after that, you say, okay, this is the time now. Everybody is uh, familiar with uh, the new system, new technology, new software, and now we can abandon the old one. Or you can make an incremental change in the existing one. So this is the process uh, um, suggested by the Alpha et al. study. Thanks.